Hey guys, what's up? It's a BG Prodigy here. Today I am going to be showing you guys how exactly uh, it's going to be a tutorial on how to build a beta level base on Arc. Uh, so it's going to be here in the Hidden Lakes, as you can see where I am on the map. Uh, you, well, you can't really see it, it, but it's on the top right. It's in North Zone 2. It's the Hidden Lakes, the Oasis. Uh, I guess that basically that, that light colored circle on the top right of my map. So that's where it is. Oops, sorry. Let me fly up a bit uh, so you guys can see where exactly it is. Uh, there's a mountain over there. There's a snow mountain over there. As you can see, this is the area. Uh, it's called the Hidden Lake. There's Carno Island. And there's everything around here. So this is where we're going to be building. I'm going to be showing you guys again. This is going to be a beta level base. Uh, if you can make this an official, you'll be very, very strong. Uh, it's going to be very well defended. But, okay, so let's get started. Alright, so first things first, we're going to get some... Uh, I'm going to make this out of metal. You can make this out of whatever structure you want. Even... Oh, well, I guess you can't really make it out of thatch. But you can uh, you can make it out of whatever you want. Metal is, uh, I guess, the least expected one. Or not the least expected. Like, you, you, you should make it out of metal. So... I'm not about sure how big we'll make it. I have an idea, but I won't really understand until I see it. So it'll be about right here will be the very first. This will be the top left of the base. All right, so this right here will be the main layout of the base. Let me just go uh, first without saying, don't worry about these little L's right here. This is just for me. I, I left this open uh, for future planning. You guys are going to be filling this in. Uh, but just imagine this all is filled in first uh, right here let's say let's see how how wide and how long it is so this will be one two three four five six seven seven along the side and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen okay it looks like it's seven by 18 let me recount that just in case i lost the count okay so i recounted it and it is 7 by 17 uh feel free to count it you can count by the little notches in between the uh you can count by these little notches right here that's what i use to count so you can just back up and pause it just in case you don't believe me but this right here this way should be 17 and the sides should be seven. So if you completely fill that in completely, and uh, I guess we can get down onto everything else. Uh, so this is gonna be a, a fairly tall base. It should be about three-ish stories. It'll have lots of room for storage. And um, what I would do is I would double wall it, double wall and double door it. So let's get started on placing the uh, fence foundations and I'll show you how to do that. All right, after some uh, testing, I, it, it looks like on PC, they might have patched the double walling trick. Um, I didn't do too much research into it, but if you can figure out how to double wall, go ahead and double wall. If you have the materials, of, if you're playing on official, obviously, or, or if you have the materials in general, because I know that people don't just play on official. Uh, but I recommend double walling if you can, but I, you've tried a couple of methods that I know of and none of them were working. So we'll, we'll start with the entrance right here. Uh, right here will be the first door so here right here will be the entrance to the base I probably recommend putting a ramp up here I might end up doing it I, I'm, I'll put a ramp up here just because it's easier to get up and down from because uh, let me see um, it, it's quite a high jump oh you're able to make it so if you don't want to put one up and leave it harder for raiders or something like that then that'll definitely work So now that we have the door, uh, let's go ahead and start throwing up walls all the way around it. We'll make the walls, uh, it'll go up really, really high. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and make it eight walls just so you guys can have an idea of what maximum protection will literally look like. So eight walls all the way around. This is probably the most tedious part of the entire thing. After this, it starts to look really, really nice. So let's get started. Wow, you guys, I think I set aside 400 metal walls and that was barely enough for just the exterior walls alone. Um, I mean, if you wanted for extra defense, you could honeycomb it, you know, maybe do an extra layer of foundations tracing around it and put some walls up. 
but I'm not going to do that. I think that might be a little bit overkill for how the base is, uh, but again, you can also never be too safe. So maybe after you built the base and got the defense up to like 100% at like in this video, you can probably do that. Just an idea I had while I was uh, throwing up the walls that it might help you out. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the ceilings. The, the ceiling is going to be honeycombed a bit. Uh, you'll see what I mean. It'll be honeycombed. Uh, you'll have to break through three layers of ceilings before you actually get to the base, if I'm thinking correctly. Um, but first, we're just going to throw the first layer of the ceiling on, and then we're going to move on to interior design. So let's get that done real quick. There you have it, you guys. The uh, exoskeleton is done of the base. Um, it's just, you know, a giant box. So a 7x17 seven again. So here's the front door. We are going to, I guess, basically make it a bit more secure. We'll throw an airlock on it in case uh, people decide to go through the front door, which is where you want them to go through. So you're going to have turret towers along the sides and around just to, you're gonna get it all around and you're gonna basically want to give people no other option but to go in through the front door and the front door is where you're gonna have everything the most secured uh, so going inside it is very 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 big you're gonna have a lot of space to work with uh, so you are going to want to I, I would recommend placing the wall on the inner side of the airlock just to have more space on everything else around. There we go. Come on. And on PC you can press E to cycle through snap points. But this one looks off. No, come on, come on. There we go. Take some time with Arc, but you'll get it eventually, I promise. With enough patience you can get any snap point you want in this game. Okay, so this will be the airlock, it'll be about three, uh, what you can do, um, well, I guess when we get over into designing that portion, we can do that. And then, so we're gonna, we're gonna throw the extra layer of doors right here, um, as an option, depends on how, how your server is, if your server is very hostile, uh, you can go ahead and just throw doors all through here, here, everywhere, at every snap point in here, you could just throw doors, um, but then at that, at the same time, you don't want them to just realize that it's just going to be nothing but doors and give up and move on to another part of the base. So it's just completely up to you. You, Everyone else knows how their server is. Um, I might do it just for kicks and giggles. Uh, like I said, it's, it's defense is it's very... You want it as, def, as well defended as possible. So it looks like we can actually throw up two right here. Okay, it looks like it's obstructed, so you can't exactly do that. We're going to have to demolish... So you'll have a total of four doors as an airlock. So that'll be the entrance to your base. Be pretty defended if you can get if you can get the raiders to go through there. Uh, let's throw some ceilings up on these. It's just going to be uh, just a little tunnel. And there you go. There's your little airlock. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the uh, the main room, the the biggest room of the base. Let's, uh, let me fill this foundation in now since now I have a good idea of how everything's going to look. Alright, so this is what you should have so far. Now we're going to get some more walls, and <laughs> I apologize you guys, this, this, this build takes a lot of materials, but it's very, very, very well defended. So let's, um, what we're going to do is we're going to trace the walls like so. Just for just because I like bases to look very nice, I'm gonna keep the walls like because there there's a couple of snap points that you could do like right there, and but it's not completely flush with this wall, so I'm gonna try and keep it flush. There we go, because it looks nicer. So we're gonna follow it along uh, till about. Let me let me count real quick. One, two, three, four. Five right here. Right there. So let me let me do this for you guys so you guys can see. Let me place these down. Alright, so you're gonna continue it one you're gonna continue it three walls on each side and then turn the wall and touch uh, the end of the base with it. So let's. And go. before we finish this up, you might uh, just just opinion. Um, 
I'm putting walls up for now. We're going to swap a couple of them out to doors. I'm not sure which ones yet. Or you know what? Um, we can do... We'll do these. We'll leave these open for now. So that you will be able to pass through the base a little bit. So yeah, we'll go ahead and leave that one open. And as we start designing rooms, you'll, uh, we'll start putting doors up. Alright, so this is basically the outline of how the big uh, main room will be. Uh, these walls right here that we just put out, we are going to make them two walls high. So we can go ahead and throw a door on this right now. Or at least the door frame so that we're able to put the other wall on top of it. So this is going to be, like I said, two walls high. So let's get on to that. Alright, awesome, awesome, awesome. So there we go. We got a couple. We have three big rooms so far, but we're going to we're gonna divide them up shortly. Now, I'm not sure if this will make it a bit easier or not, but go ahead and grab a metal ceiling and place it right there. You can do it on both sides. This is going to be a pretty symmetrical looking base for the most part. Uh, let's go up here. So now that we have the two ceilings up there, Go ahead and grab a metal ramp and make it go all the way down to the ground. Oh awesome, look at that. It won't even interfere with the doorway. That's perfect. Good, good. This is looking really great, you guys. So let's do this on the opposite side. So this will be how we get up to the second level. I really hate using ladders in this game because of how glitchy they are. That's why I prefer ramps. Alright, now since this base is very close to a couple of metal mountains, what we are going to do, you're going to want to get a ladder for this. So let me go ahead and get one as well. Okay, so you're going to want to go through the very front door entrance and um, go ahead and place a ladder down right here so that you're able to get on it. You're going to need an industrial forge for this. And you're going to want to move this back. You're, you don't want it sticking out the back of the base. Alright, so let's move on to the second floor. We are going to need some metal railings and some ceilings for this. We're just gonna, we're, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of ceilings and some railways. So let's go ahead and get those real quick. Alright, the second floor is, uh, well, it's not done, but we got the whole platform up here done. Uh, so this is going to be the spawn level where people are going to be spawning. Uh, the point is, you know, uh, there's going to be rooms in here that people are going to spawn in. And uh, you're going to go, go to your vault, grab your guns. If people are, have finally breached into this level and you'll be able to just shoot them from up here. You'll have your cover and all of that. So it, that's why I don't have a spawn level, which you could. You could have it on both levels or all three or all four levels if you'd like. It's completely up to you. But this is why I put spawn levels on the second floor. So it also helps with defense. Uh, what you could also do is probably even put windows up in some of the rooms so you could see out. But that's personally, that, that's your choice. I'm not going to put any, but you could also do that. So what we're going to need now to get started or to work on the second floor a bit more is some more metal walls. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave one... Uh, one ceiling of space so it'll be a, a one one ceiling walkway and we'll go ahead and get the walls and we'll put them right on this side to maximize room inside these rooms and we'll skip a space here or we'll go ahead we won't skip a space we'll go ahead and throw the door or the door frame down now and that's where the entrance will be so depending on how many rooms you want to make, you can you can fit a lot down here. These will be basically like bedrooms. People have like personal storage, but these will be like personal rooms. Um, I'm going to make three, but there, you can definitely make as many as you want. You can even do the same thing upstairs if you would like. And there you go. That's going to be the outline for bedroom one in here. So like I said, you'll spawn wherever the heck I decide to put a bed, get your stuff and open the door and just, you know, just blast everyone down here with an assault rifle or something. So let's move on to bedroom two. Let's outline this one. Or we'll, we'll outline this one over here and then that'll, that'll help with uh, this long one in the front. And two doors.
Okay, I forgot to throw the door on this bedroom, but it'll go right above here. This will be the door for the other bedroom. There we go. So this one will be this wide. This will be a very, very long one. Um, it's thin, but it'll be long. So they kind of even, even out on the size. Like these are very wide and spacious. These are very kind of cramped. This one, it, this one is kind of cramped, but it's long. But there will be three, or you can just kind of section them off with walls, depending on what you'd like. For uh, like, say if you have a tribe member, like five tribe members, you can just go ahead and continue this wall down, like down here, and this will be another bedroom. But I make it to where each bedroom has access to the walkway. That's what I have it as personally. So let's go ahead and just throw doors on these door frames because these will be permanent. Uh, for me at least, you can switch them up however you want. There are the doors. Okay, each floor is going to be two walls high. So we're going to need to get our walls again uh, and go ahead and make these two walls high. Okay, so there we go. Um, well, you, can, you can utilize this two wall high bedroom or at least three two wall high bedrooms in so many ways. You could put maybe another ceiling or something and put shelving or you, you'll have a lot of storage space for personal items. So let's, um, especially this room, this room is very big. If you wanted, you could extend the wall from these bedrooms down just a bit to even it out a little bit, uh, but that just depends on you. So now that we have the walls up, we're gonna need to do, we'll throw the ceilings on top of them all. So let's go ahead and do that. You know what, before we do that, let's go ahead and throw up the generator room. Um, this one, you're going to need to fly to do it. So let's go ahead, go up here. And the generator room will be right above the industrial forge. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let me, I'm just trying to imagine how this is all going to work out. Uh, you can go ahead and throw this right here. You can just throw three doors on it. Alright, right here is where the generator will go. Let's go ahead and wall this off. This will be where a door goes. Wall this off right here as well. Okay, looking good, looking good. Let's go ahead and make this two walls high. You know what, you guys? I just realized I, that's not how this is going to work. This is going to be... Let me think. For sure this is going to work. The only thing is I don't think it's going to be two walls high. So let's go ahead and delete that. There you go. So you can access it from every angle. I can't. You can access its inventory here, but I think that's about it. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, this one, you can... I'm sure you can turn it on and off, it's just there's no gas laying in it at the moment. So we'll go ahead and get that later. But now we have the generator room up. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, focus on how to build it later. The reason why I built it first and not how to get to it was because it's easier to place the ramps. So let's, um, let's add the ceilings because it's going to be one high. Alright, so this will be where the generator is. It's going to be up here completely. What we're going to do so people don't suspect it is we're just going to put the the ceilings it's going to be a honeycomb ceiling up here so we'll need to put the ceilings down all around so let's get that done all right we have the complete top floor done uh one thing that i did do is i uh threw a trap door up here with a ladder and i threw the doors up i went ahead and threw the doors up for the uh, generator room it's, it's going to be a little cramped in here, but the point is a bit, a bit, uh, the point is to keep it as small as possible uh, so that it's hard for people to find. And um, granted, it'll be a box right here. It'll be a giant box above here, but there's so many rooms in here, people will struggle finding where exactly the generator is. Um, and all of the wiring, it'll be, you can't really track it from the wiring because the wiring will go up here and it'll come down from corners and so it'll be hard to tell that it's coming from the box above the industrial forge. So now let's design the way to get down from here. 
Well, you guys, after a bit of planning and testing, I finally found a way uh, to make it work and look pretty decent. Uh, so I'm going to try and replicate it on the other side for you, but basically, as you can see, it's just some ramps that go up to the third floor up here, and then another set of ramps that go up here to the uh, to the generator room up here. So it, it looks it looks pretty decent, it looks pretty nice. Uh, so let me see if I can figure out how to do it here for you. So we are going to need what's in my hotbar at the moment. We're going to need some sloped roofs, some ceilings, um, and they're the sloped roofs, not the ramps, by the way. Um, we're going to need some ceilings, some walls, some railings, and some sloped, uh, sloped uh, wall left and right. So first, let's start off with... Uh, sorry, I'm just kind of looking at the other one to try and get an idea of what to do. So we're going to need to put the ceilings down right here. We'll need to put four down. And it's okay because this is going to be empty space anyway. I wasn't planning on putting anything that'll reach up three units high or three walls high. Um, so we're going to need to put down walls all right here, I believe. Yes. So one there, one there, one there, and one there. And we're going to need to get a sloped wall. Um, oop. Oop, oop, oop. Okay. There we go. So we put that up, and then um, we're going to need to put another wall right here, and I believe another one right here, which I guess this one doesn't matter all too much because you won't see it anyway. Now let's see if we can actually, these things are a bit hard to work with, but I guarantee if you keep trying, anything is any snap point is possible if you keep trying an arc. Now we're going to need some more ceilings up right here. I believe it's just these two and then we're going to have to start forming the catwalk of the third floor which is right here if I'm correct. Um, and then we're going to need another sloped wall just like that. Okay perfect. Um, we could also start throwing the railings down right here, just three, and then another sloped roof, perfect, perfect. Throw down another part of the little catwalk up here, or the, the railing, I'm sorry. And then we're going to need a railing right here. Uh, the railing down there is basically going to just get mirrored all the way up here. But now that we have these, uh, now that we have this completely done, let's go ahead and get the Let's see if we can get this right. I don't want it facing that way. Okay, you guys, I've been trying and I've been trying and I've been trying. I know I've been saying with patience, any snap point is possible in arc, but uh, I, which snap point was that one? I don't think that's the one that I needed. But I, like I said, with patience, I do not have the patience. It's been literally giving me every snap point but this one. Um, I was I didn't even have to use this right here. Let's see. Let's see if I can delete this. Yeah, I can delete that and it stays up. But it's not... When I did it on the opposite side, I just kind of placed it and it just kind of went with it. And this one's not being so... Uh, so nice. So if you guys can get it, that's good. But I think I'm just about going to give up on it and just kind of make it accessible for one side only for me but uh yeah this is uh pretty aggravating it does it on the on this one above it right here the one below it the the one to the left of it i don't know about the one to the right of it because i can't see but it won't do it to this one so we're just gonna forget about that um oops i am personally gonna leave it only accessible from one side um but yes, if you can get it on both sides, props to you, because I am having lots and lots of difficulty doing it. So there. <laughs> Alright. So now we are going to do the same thing that we did with the second floor with the ceilings. Just put ceilings everywhere for the third floor. Alright, so now let's go ahead and start, um, I guess, designing with each floor. We... Um, 
We'll start with the bottom right room. Oh, I did forget about this little airlock right here. Uh, good thing I did remember. Uh, we're gonna need ramps. I don't know why I'm grabbing the, the metal roofs. What I do just to add a bit more protection is, uh, is I go ahead and throw the ramps right here. So if people try to decide blow through the walls, instead they still have more to go through. Like, because like I said, the goal is to make them push through the. Like I said, the goal is to make them push through the front door. And if you can push them through uh, to where you know what, like, it, the point is to basically funnel them in so you always know where they are at all times. So you, you, for the most part, you have an idea of what their plan is. So now that we have this up, we're also going to throw up some walls as well. Boom, and there you go. So now you have a... If they try and go through the front door, they have four doors to go through before they're actually forced into this room to where the only thing that's really going to be in here that they can have access to is the industrial forge um now if they they can now they have a giant option of doors that they're going to have to go through there's you know this door which we're going to section this off into multiple rooms as well so there's going to be maybe about three rooms in here that they can choose from on the right three on the left then they can go up here there's going to be a room in here a room right there a room right there and then they'll go up to the third floor and then um, depends on how many rooms you decide to make uh, I'm making this gonna this is gonna be like a storage up here so they're gonna have a bunch to choose from up here and then that up there so they're gonna have to use a lot of explosives to get around and not only that we're gonna put some defenses up in here also so that they're gonna have to fight through that they won't be able to bring war brontos and war turtles in there unless they blow a sizable hole up to hole up hole to fit those through
All right, so apparently my mic died somewhere in there, so I'll fill everything in that I guess that I said that I missed with subtitles. Hopefully I didn't really miss anything at all. Um, but like I said, we're going to throw a ramp up here so we can get to the second floor, and we're going to fill the second floor and the first floor with preserving bins. And this will be where we can get uh, jerky, and we can throw things in here that you can't normally throw into fridges, like, uh, for example, leech blood cannot go into fridges, but it can go into preserving bins. Milk, uh, wyvern milk. Alright, so this is where we're going to get all of our jerky, throw wyvern milk, uh, leech blood, stuff like that in here. It'll be very useful for to uh, make jerky in a, in, a, in a giant size. You'll be making lots and lots of jerky with this. So right here is where you'll actually be making the kibble. Um, I'm going to have to route irrigation into here, so let me go ahead and do that. I don't have any irrigation, so I'm going to have to go get some. Alright, so the trick is to start from the end and work our way towards the intake. So we are going to... Let me see if we're going to put an intersection or if we're going to put... That's an incline, that's a straight. So we'll put a straight one. try to put it in the direct center so it'll be this one right here because these two walls right here as you can you can kind of see from the stuff sticking out these are part of the preserving bin room so these two are gonna be part of the kibble room so now that we have the straight coming out we'll go ahead and throw the turn and uh, just go straight to the little oasis down there that's one perk about this area is that you are right next to a water source so if you even want to irrigate your own bedroom you really could so you don't have to go all the way out that's one bad thing about this place is it's super hot during the day and super cold during the night another uh, bad part about this location not going to lie is that since you're surrounded by mountains all around you whenever it's nighttime it is nighttime it is crazy 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 dark so um, I guess it can be both good and bad. Raid, it'll be raiders will have some trouble seeing, but I have I have a little plan set aside for that, so you'll see what I mean. Boom, and there you go, you got a little, it's it's close to the ground, it's fairly hidden, it's nothing that stands out all, it doesn't stand out like crazy, but it should go all the way in here, through this giant airlock, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, let's go to the kibble room. Okay, looking good, I don't know if it tells you, yeah, it doesn't tell you if it has irrigation running through it or not. Let's go ahead and get the industrial cooker. Oh, perfect. And it, it even rests on the ground. It's not even floating. And it's saying it is not irrigated. So that is not good. We're going to have to go. Oh, yeah, there we go. It just took a while to go through. So look at that. It's, it's resting on the ground. Wow. It's resting on the ground. Every single time I place an industrial cooker, it's always like kind of floating up in the air. So there's a little something for you guys. Now... Let's uh, go ahead and get some fridges up here. And you could, for example, have one fridge that's named or here. Let me let me uh, demolish this one. Um, let's put this one down. You could have one refrigerator like this that ha that's named eggs, and you'll have eggs. One right here that has crops in it. And just title that, you know, one, one with crops, one with berries. And then you can have, so you'll have eggs, crops, berries. Uh, and then you'll have meat slash jerky in another one. So you'll have just four chests just filled up with various things that you could use. 
And there you go, you got yourself a little kibble making room. Um, yeah, looking really good. You know what, now that I think of it, you should probably even throw another fridge down and label that fridge like a kibble or something like that. Because you'll have all the materials, but then where are you going to throw the kibble? You can just throw it in its own, it'll have, you should put it in its own little fridge. Uh, let's throw down a, a lamp post in here. It'll go like right here. And you'll see why later, but I'm setting pin codes on all of these uh, lamp uh, light posts. I've been putting 1111 just as an example because uh, I, I have something that I'd like to show you guys whenever the build is done. All right, you guys, the whole first floor is done completely. Every room is, uh, is furnished with something different and something that is actually very useful to uh, a very powerful tribe. If, you're, if you want to be a powerful tribe, you need a lot of rooms like these. Uh, they all came out very nice. I'm liking how they all came out. They're looking very, 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 very good. Even the industrial cooker, I never have so much luck with placing one down so nicely that I'm so glad that it came out the way it did. And this this room looks very nice too. It's just like an, like an industrial preserving bin room, like industrial jerky room. It's pretty crazy. But yes, it is all done. It's looking very nice. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the bedrooms. Let's go with this one first. So, not quite sure how I want this to work out. Um, basically, whoever owns the room will basically have their own personal personal structures in here that they'll have access to. So we'll go ahead and try and throw, I guess, one of each. Is that going into the other room? No, it's not. It actually stopped perfectly with the wall. Awesome. So. Basically, if I had my own room, I would want my own... All of this, this, I would want all of this stuff if I had my own personal room. Alright, so here is bedroom one. I guess basically if I had a bedroom, I'd want it to look something like this in ARC. You know, I have access to my own chemistry bench, my own fridge, uh, the, an industrial cooker, a fabricator, a smithy, my own storage. And I guess I just kind of threw a map and a mirror in here just because they're nice. You can kind of, I, I don't know, you could use K to look at yourself, but it, it's it's nice to just, it's, it's a neat little thing just to have in there because why not? So... Yeah, you can imagine something like that. Um, just something along those lines. Here's an example of what you can work with. And I won't really furnish the second and third rooms, at least on camera. I'll just kind of leave them like this. Uh, just I'm giving you an example of one that I would do and you could maybe do something with your own imagination in the other two. So yeah, that would, uh, there's, there's that. So. Then there's a third floor. We need to work on some storage or something like that. Maybe something along those lines. All right, so let's go ahead and work on a bit of defense. Um, 
There's lots that you can do with the inside alone. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so first set of defense that I did is some turrets behind these walls. I think it looks super perfect. Uh, someone who's not supposed to be there and suspecting is going to come around the corner and just get blasted. So that is some perfect defense right there. All right, you guys, I'm slowly but surely wiring the place up. Uh, throwing turrets as you can see in random places um, I've confirmed just right now that the uh, this is the only one that I haven't get powered yet I have confirmed that these uh, air conditioners down here are all getting power and uh, one way that I'm looking at it is I'm getting about 1800 insulation that's a lot um, we put a lot of air conditioners down here let's see if we head towards the middle yeah look we're hitting about 2100 yeah we're getting a lot and I, I personally dismantled this went down and everything's working uh, the only thing we're not getting power to is this I'm gonna run some more wires in and get, get everything on this side there's a couple of things here and there that we're missing but we're gonna get those up and running so have no fear you guys uh, let me see yeah no that, that one's not done yet see the best part about this you guys is that all most of the cabling is up here and out of sight um, so it's it's really good it's really really good and you'll see it the times where it does come out um, where it's seen it's on random places throughout the the build so people it'll be a little bit more difficult for people to be 100% sure where the cabling is coming from or where the generator is I mean I'm sorry all right here we are you guys the whole place is basically wired right now there's there's not a single object in here that needs power that does not have it i also went ahead and threw this uh one thing that i was saying earlier is that one con about living here is how dark it is but at the same time it can also be really good because if raiders decide to come at night they're gonna have a pretty hard time seeing but if you do decide to light up your base the same way i did i would recommend throwing these keypads down and as you as i mentioned earlier i made every single light in here i made the pin code 1111 so if everyone's about to log off, say you're the last person on for the night, just come in here, deactivate slash close pins, type in the code you set as your lights, and it turns everything off. So at nighttime it makes it pitch black, so if any raiders try and offline raid you, they're going to have a lot harder of a time uh, than, uh, than if you would just leave the lights running. So all you got to do is just a light switch, make it whatever code you want, um, but it's, it's very nifty just it's very inexpensive to just throw it down there and just it, it, it might it might save your base you never know all right so what is next the next is storage we're going to need some more walls on this one uh, this is gonna be a heck of a lot of storage up here you could even turn it into more bedrooms or something but I am just going to turn it into storage Boom. All right, now we're just going to have to make the walls go um, all the way up to the ceiling. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, there you go. You got walls going all the way up here. This is going to be one heck of a storage area, you guys. Um, man, there's so much space in here. Well, this is going to be literally nothing but safes. Um, what I'm going to say now, I recommend do not, I repeat, do not name the vaults if you're playing on PvP or like anywhere that, if someone's going to, if someone can raid the base, do not name the vaults because um, you're going to make them, you're going to make them waste more materials than they really, than they have. Uh, if you don't name them because they can spend maybe 50 C4 on a vault only to have it just completely filled to the brim with wood or you haven't even got to fit you didn't even get to like put anything in that vault yet because there's gonna be lots of vaults in here um, so do not name them because you'll make you'll hopefully make them waste 50 c4 on a vault filled with thatch for example or what you can do is turn this into a, another bedroom but um, it's completely up to you. I'm gonna do storage because you don't. We don't really have too much storage, other than personal storage in here. 
Alright, so the volt room is finished. It is, uh, it is very, very nice. I probably could have fit an extra layer of volts right here, but it would have been too tight of a squeeze that I, I just decided not to. And this is, you know, a lot of volts already. So this is, this is very, very, very nice. Very nice, very nice. All right, so moving up here, <clears throat> we're gonna be wiring, uh, we're gonna be throwing all the wires up, up here. So we're gonna do a straight, and then we're gonna do an intersection. We're just gonna alternate just like that. And once we get till about, yeah, right here, this is perfect. Then we'll start turning again. But we'll, we'll turn it. I think, okay, here's a good way to tell if you're there or not. If you place a straight one, it'll be sticking out. So, and think, I think it's the same on the sides too, yeah. So you, the point is not to have it stick out at all. And we're gonna alternate between straight and intersection. So now we are going to, on all of the intersections that are sticking outwards, we're going to throw these little outlets here. Because although we are now done with the inside, we are not done with the outside. Now we're going to go on to exterior uh, defense. It's going to be very, very minimal than what it should. So we're going to place down catwalks every other every other ceiling feel free to do every single ceiling if you'd like but like i said i'm doing it minimal so there you have it we have catwalks at every single at every other ceiling okay it looks good it looks good so now at the end of every single catwalk we're going to throw a turret and that's why we have the electric cables at the very top so the turrets will be powered all right, so now we got the turrets up. <clears throat> you can never have too much defense though, so I will say that you could, oh, what the heck? I don't have my, oh, I guess I forgot to put my, my God mode on. Good thing I placed down the bed. So, <clears throat> like, uh, let's uh, enable these modes so I do not die. Hurry up, oops. Okay, there we go. Let's um let's go back out. Like I was saying Like I was saying you can never be too safe, so you can throw up some kill boxes around here. Oh let me grab the stuff off of the body. Mm -hmm. So you can throw up some kill boxes and then um now we're still not done with the defense on the base itself though. I'm only doing things that are that are that are for the base because you know there's still things that you would want like maybe a dino pen, some kill boxes, a tower. Um, but I'm only doing the base right now. And if you guys would like to see other things, you know, comment down below and and tell me and I'll you know add on to this this little beta area that you could definitely that a beta tribe would take over. So we're not done with the bait. The the this is like the last bit of defense before we are done. Uh, we're going to be throwing some, literally as many as we can, Plan X uh, all across the roof. And then that should be it. So let's do that. And there you guys have it. There is the, the roof. As you can see, I missed a couple of spots. I wasn't able to fit the, the large crop plots there. I messed up placing them and there wasn't enough room for them. But if this is serious, like a real pvp server i would have made sure I, I utilized every little bit of space i had because it'd be great if a tyranodon actually didn't came down here and then they just got uh, just rows and rows of plan x hitting it if the plan x the plan x will more than likely kill it but the turrets will definitely take care of any rg or tyranodon or a wyvern a, wy a wyvern would just get melted by this you guys uh you have no idea but this is this is some pretty crazy defense right here alone and I also recommend putting up tur uh, kill boxes, uh, turret towers, and stuff like that because, um, just because you can never be too, too, uh, too safe, you guys. So that is it. This is a beta level base right here. If you can recreate this base, 
you can consider yourself a beta, not an alpha of your server, but this is a, this is a, a strong beta tribe right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, comment like if you comment on anything else you'd like to see, uh, see me potentially build, or any changes you'd like to see on this base, or even a bedroom. I know I left two open for you guys to just kind of just let your mind wrap around and let your mind take control of what you think a good bedroom would look like. Um, and I did leave a lot of room, like the storage upstairs, you could turn those into bedrooms also, or other things, you know. Let me know what you guys, how you guys changed it up, and anything else you guys would like to see. So thank you guys so much for watching. That subscribe button helps me out so much. And if you like this build, be sure to hit that like button for me, please. It helps out a lot. This is the VG Prodigy, and I will see you guys next time.